Welcome to my third video. In this video, I will show you how to create uh, adapters inside the VMware and uh, put the uh, I, the IBs, the needed IBs for for that uh, network adapters, uh, virtual network adapters. So, but before uh, start, I will show you um, the rack network to understand their theoretical, and uh, then I will go for practical. But uh, first, uh, let's see here. Uh, this this uh, figure show us how the okay show us the network uh, for the rack. Um, there is a public network and private network. The public network is um, for uh, public use, but private network for cluster interconnect. This use for clusterware and the ASM connection between the both nodes. Um, so to configure this, you need to follow the the instruction that I will demonstrate for you before, after uh, just finish this the description uh, here public network and the private network the private network this needed for as I said before it's needed for interconnect between the ASM the rack clusterware and the operating system all these uh, component or units uh, use this network and the public network as I said you can use it for uh, SSH and um, or direct connect to the node or the operating system um, usually uh, don't touch the private network for uh, public use or for administration uh, purpose for administration purpose use public network so uh, I will show you how to configure the public and private. So let's get started. Then I will go to here to the operating system. Uh, usually I okay from settings go to the VM tab and then go to settings virtual machine settings. From here uh, I create an app adapter this is for internet connection uh, this allow me to internet uh, to connect to the internet to the world wide web um, okay first how I can combine the network adapter to inside the operating system how I can know that's um, the the interface is related to that profile inside the operating system i use this you can use your own way but for me i just take the this one the mac address for this uh, network adapter this i will write uh, i will copy it to um here to notepad control v this is a bridge other one um, this uh, host only so I'll just copy this one will be host only uh, only okay so from here we can see that uh, sorry this one is uh, I think for this is for internet it's connected how we can check that we are connected to the internet ns lookup google.com so from here we can uh, see as we can see we are connected connecting connected to the internet so, um, okay so now we try to configure the ethernet 
So how we can know that this is a bridge, this is a bridge connection or host only connection? We can just launch this command if config. From if config, we can just scroll up. You can see here ether. This is a MAC address. End with nine five. So we can go to the document nine five. That's mean bridge. So this is for public connection. So this is for public connection. I have also another document here. I put the range of IP addresses that I need to configure the rack. So I put here for rack one. So right now I'm working on rack one. So I will use this one only. So uh, this is for public. This is for private, for rack connection. So this is for bridge. This is for bridge connection. So I will copy this one. And okay, I will come here for this one. 30, 33, this one, wired sitting. From wired sitting, add profile. Add profile for IB, IB version 4. Okay, put the manual, control V, 24. Gateway will be like this one. One. And that's it. Add. This one will be profile one. And uh, this one will be the private. So we'll add profile. Okay, this one will be private. For this one, uh, um, okay, default. IB, the manual, and date from here. This is the range for equals B. My cat is 24. And gateway will be okay, you can leave it. Add. This one, I will just edit this one. This will be public. MAC address will be for 33. Okay. Right. The IB, okay. Good. So we'll just restart the server, the network service. Network. Start. Okay, enter the ID, the password. And see this. Okay, done. If config, just to check. Um, okay. Um, yes, done. So uh, let's configure the SSH connection to connect the network uh, to the operating system from outside of the VMware. I think it would be better to work from here. So let's see if it's configured or not. Load. Um, okay, you can put this. Okay, open. Yes, it's uh, working. Root. Okay. Uh, host name. I think we are connected to the rack one. Thank you for watching and uh, wait for next video. Thank you.